Hi everyone and welcome to another FM22 tactic video. Today we're not just showing you a tactic that works amazingly in the match engine and gets some amazing results in this simulation. It also tries to emulate one of the world's best football managers style of play in Jurgen Klopp. It's something a lot of you have asked for. So here it is. Let's get right into it. Hi everyone, Jake here for FM Scout and as I mentioned in that intro, today we're going to be looking at a tactic and it's none other than Nap's recreation of Klopp's style of play, the Klopp tactic, and it does so so well in the simulation, both in terms of results with a variety of teams, but also at attempting to recreate the style of football that Jurgen Klopp plays. So we've got a lot to get into in terms of how it works and also how well it does in the simulation. But before we do, I'd like to ask you guys to show the channel some support and hit that like button. Comment down below as well if you want to, what tactic recreation you'd like to see next and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We greatly appreciate it. And finally, if you do want to check out my channel linked in the description and subscribe over there, we've got some more Let's Play style stuff over there. So if you want to check that out, I'd very much appreciate that. I'd be very happy if you did that. But let's go and have a look at this tactic and how well it does. So we'll start off by looking at the positions and the roles I'm not going to read out every single additional tactical instruction but you will see anyone that has a minus mark next to it means that it's a tactical instruction we've actually manually added onto the position so in goal we've got a sweeper keeper we've then got two ball playing defenders on defense duty we've got two wing backs on attack on either side both of which have the same additional instructions and to anyone who's interested the mark specific position uh, that's a hard word to say but if you're looking for that one we are marking the right backs marking the left attacking midfielder and the left backs marking the right attacking midfielder it was hard to get my words out then but you understand what i'm going for we then got a deep line playmaker on support with a central midfielder on attack which by the way um if you're not someone who uses this role it is very very effective this year so if you haven't tried it out yet and even if you don't want to use this tactic i suggest trying out the central midfielder role in midfield it is very very good this year in my opinion we've got a mezala on the attack duty we've got an inside forward on the right and an inside forward on the left the inside forward on the right has a mark specific position additional instruction and he is marking the left back and then up front it's a deep line forward on attack with no additional instructions there will be a link to this tactic in the description if you want to straight up download it but if you're trying to replicate it yourself then let's quickly go through and show off the mentality and the style of play so we've got a very attacking mentality in possession i'm not going to read every single thing out but you can see it here we're looking to play high tempo work the ball into the box while overlapping on the left and right while playing out of defense and there's a few other things in there as well to take note of that i'm sure all of you with eyes can see in transition we're looking to counter press when we lose the ball and to counter as soon as we win it back and then as you can imagine when we're out of possession we're trying to press to hell and back with um, a much higher line of engagement preventing short goalkeeper distribution getting stuck in and all of that good stuff. So this is what the tactic looks like and the aim of it is to try and in the match engine at least even if some of these roles might seem strange and oh you know Liverpool don't use XYZ it's to try and replicate it in the match engine itself and how it plays so I think it does a very effective job at that I've watched a few games and we will probably watch one at the end of this video but I've watched a game or so with this tactic on and it looks like it plays the kind of football you'd expect as much as you can tell from a simulation but we've heard good things about it that it does well in terms of replicating the football and you kind of get that idea with the formation we're going with how heavy in terms of pressing it is and all that good stuff but how well does it do with not just Liverpool we're of course going to test it with a variety of clubs at different levels to see if it's effective with only you know Liverpool with great left backs and right backs with players with really high work rate or can it work with just about anyone well as you can see we're in 2022 here I've simulated it with a few teams and we've got a few different results so let's quickly show you what we did so in the Premier League we use Liverpool and Southampton Liverpool whilst they did get knocked out of the Champions League they've won the FA Cup won the Carabao Cup and won the Premier League it's been a treble this season for Liverpool and it's been a very good one losing four games one of which was to Everton so that is kind of a big deal to Liverpool fans another one to Man U as well and one of the losses was to our other team Southampton which goes to show that's pretty cool but at Anfield we were very strong because they were all away losses there's a few draws in there as well but overall it's been a good season we will have a look at the detailed stats a little bit later but Southampton have finished sixth it was a good season for them they were originally predicted to finish 15th or 16th at the start of the season so to get about 60 points is very good it's not quite close to any of the teams in the top five but outside of that 
it's a very good result, although there's only a few point difference between us and 10th place. So take from that what you will, but we have made it into the Europa League from that good season. I did go and test it out in Italy with Sassuolo and Roma. Our Roma team did win the Conference League and they've also done well in the league winning the league by about eight points so good on them from there with very high goal difference we also tested it on a predicted mid table slash lower mid table sassuolo and they finished in fifth place getting a europa league spot they made it to the semi-finals of the italian cup and overall they'll definitely class that as a good season beating out the likes of milan atalanta and juventus it's been a good one for sassuolo and there was only a few points between them and getting that fourth place champions league spot in spain our bilbao side have gone toe to toe with real madrid and barcelona beating real madrid to the second place spot and only three points in the end behind barcelona in that top space it's because we had a lot of losses but not many draws which probably goes to show Bilbao maybe not completely suited to this in the defensive phase of the game, but they've still done pretty well to get a second place spot. I say pretty well, very well to get that far. Runners up in the Spanish Cup as well. Um, I think they'll be very happy with that, Bilbao fans. Considering their goal difference is so low, I can only assume they've conceded more than most of the other teams we've tested with. But that's not a bad season at all to get so close to Barcelona at the top of the tree. Our final test was with FC Nantes in the French divisions. They were expected to finish very lower mid table i'd say like 14th i think it said when i originally started maybe 13th and they finished in third spot getting a champions league space with 79 points of course we're not getting close to the unbeatable actually unbeatable psg and um, but we've got fairly close to monaco and there's a pretty big difference between us and fourth place leon and the chasing pack featuring lil and marseille so we've done pretty well overall with every single team there's not really any that we're going to be disappointed with um, everyone's overachieved everyone's done great so i'm very happy with that which is obviously the first thing but it seems like it can work with a variety of teams because i didn't choose these teams specifically for the reasons that they've got high work rates or anything like that sometimes i just go into the french division and i think i like this yellow badge we're going to pick them and that's literally what i did so it is nice to see that they've done so well but we'll go over to liverpool now and southampton because obviously we've got two teams to have a look at it there and we're just going to have a look at the detail statistics from this tactics so if we go to team overview we can see we've scored far more goals than anyone else in this liverpool tactic which is kind of expected liverpool score so many goals in real life and the tactic had a very attacking mentality southampton scoring 73 it was a good season for all of our sides liverpool did have the most shots by a long distance so we're creating a lot of chances but interestingly southampton who obviously have less quality than teams such as chelsea and arsenal they've managed to have way more shots than them and the fact that they haven't scored as many goals as those teams suggest to me at least that it's the quality difference that's caused a big difference here if we had the strikers that arsenal or chelsea had we would probably have seen a much bigger performance from Southampton. So credit to them. If we look at the teams with most possession, it doesn't seem either of our teams feature here. So we'll have a look at that a little bit down the line to see how the possession was for our sides. But most tackles won. Our Southampton team have smashed it. And Liverpool are quite high up as well. Only a few tackles between them and second place Crystal Palace. Fewest conceded. We're up there with only 37 conceded with Liverpool. Which considering we scored the most goals is very good. You don't usually get a tactic that's so sound in both areas. But I will say that the fact we don't see Southampton suggests to me it's because of the quality of that Liverpool defence that they've done so well. Because Southampton obviously without that quality, seem to have conceded a lot more goals because they're not on this list. So let's quickly have a look at the team overview. I mean, it wasn't terrible from Southampton. They only conceded 62 all season, which wasn't too bad. There's a lot of teams with far more than that, teams that you'd expect to be better. Uh, Wolves, Leicesters, Burnleys even. We're on very attacking mentality right here, remember? So you'd expect them to ship a lot of goals, but we seem to have done okay. We're not going to look at every other league in this detail, but as you can imagine, I'm sure the other teams will have scored a lot of goals and maybe conceded a fair few. But you know what? This tactic is very, very good at getting goals in the back of the net. We can say that for sure. Most assists, our players dominate, and it's nice to see that the fullbacks play a big role on this screen for Liverpool particularly. Mane and Ward-Prowse getting a lot of assists. The interesting one for me is most goals. Kevin De Bruyne was the league leader in goals, but no one specifically from either team has smashed it with 50 goals scored. So clearly this tactic balances the goals out between everyone, because if Liverpool are scoring, what was it, 117 goals, and Mo Salah is only 23, that goes to show that everyone is chipping in somewhere down the line. Alisson has actually made the most clean sheets, and we've got most tackles won by Kyle Walker-Peters 
and Roman Parade, who is the left back and right back in our Southampton side and most key passes go down to some of our key men. So overall, I'd say this has been a very successful tactic test. I'm going to check out one game with Liverpool. We'll pick a random one and we'll just see how it played out. So let's find a game where we scored a few goals so we can watch the highlights from that. We do actually have a 5-1 win against Manchester United in the FA Cup final. So I think that's a good place to watch to see what happened. And nice to see that it's not just the defenders scoring from corners or anything like that. It looks like everyone has chipped in with goals. I'm not sure how much the goals are going to represent how the tactic plays. I'm picking a random game. It might be a very bad example, but to beat Man U 5-1 is still pretty impressive. So let's see how it's played in the match engine here. So the first goal actually came from Man U um, and it was Ronaldo, I think it said in the corner, wasn't it? Yeah, so Ronaldo scoring from very close in as Ronaldo does. Um, and it looks like it went to VAR, but then eventually we got back in the game in the 38th minute. Let's have a look at this goal then. So it's from uh, playing out to the fullbacks, this is good. This is the kind of football you'd expect from Liverpool. It's a ball into Jota. Salah scores, but realistically, it's Shimikas to Jota. A nice cross in for a goal there. We then have Arnold blasting it into Mo Salah, who heads it in to the back of the net. So that's a free kick set piece goal. Is this one going to be from the fullback again? Let's have a look at this one. We found some space on the wing for Joel Matip. He's played it to Mane to Jota, and then we've scored. So it looks like we are creating a lot of opportunities on the flanks, which is what you'd expect with a Liverpool tactic. We've got another one here, which looks like a counter-attack, which is, he was a mile offside, wasn't he? Wasn't Luis Diaz a mile offside there? I thought he was, but either way, you can see we've broke away with pace there with our two forward players, and that's what we want to see. And then we do have a usual nap tactic, typical corner goal, and it's Joel Matip powering it in from the Simicast corner. So a variety of goals there. It was nice to see that our team was using the flanks and counter-attacking in a quick pace. They were getting a lot of bodies around the box and a variety of players got the goals. It wasn't all just coming from one man. So it looks like it plays in the style that you'd expect from a Klopp tactic. Let us know if you're going to try it out. Like I say, the link to it will be in the description. I've been Jake for FM Scout. Hopefully you have enjoyed the video. If you have, let us know in the comments and hit the like button and I'll see you next time, guys. Goodbye.